What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this holy mess. And I listened to this interview that Michelle Lau did on the YouTube platform, Too Strong. I'm going to have a link to the full interview in the description box. You can check it out. It's almost two hours long. So it's definitely a lot, but it is intense. And anytime that I hear Michelle Loud speak or if she's interviewed and I get the opportunity to listen to it, even if the stuff that she's sharing, I've already heard her talk about, I, I don't feel any less interested, upset, furious, outraged, than I did the first time that I heard it because the truth of the matter is T.D. Jakes, his family, they were complicit in the thievery. I'm just going to put it like that. The stealing of this woman's child, Michelle Loud, by Cora Jakes. And using the... The power that they, I want to say, think they have, that they are able to operate in, in these er earthly, worldly systems because of who they are and also who they know and the money and the prestige that they have. And it's disgusting. And we already know the allegations about him and Diddy and now allegedly, possibly, grooming young people, young guys, and who knows what else is going to come out. But this man not only needs to step down, in my opinion, that entire ministry needs to be dissolved. And everyone that is a benefactor and profiting from it, they don't deserve to have anything else with them either. Because this ministry that they label it, because it's not a ministry, It's a business. It is extremely unethical. And the fact that Cora goes to that church, this is her daddy, this is her family, and she did the things that she did to take this woman's child is disgusting. And they do not deserve to continue to stand. So I know a lot of the things that have been coming out about T.D. Jakes and He's also been copyright striking YouTube channels. And what the the thing that even when it comes to that bothers me so much is like Jesus was crucified on the cross for lies. People said all manner of evil about Jesus Christ. And definitely we know T.D. Jakes is no Jesus Christ. So I'm not trying to compare, but. If you really are doing the will and the work of the Lord, I won't even say unfortunately, because the Bible says so, that you will be persecuted for righteousness sake, that people are going to hate you because you love me and a, a number of other things that the Bible says, right? So when you have someone like this, that's supposed to be doing the work and the will of the Lord, and they're trying to cover up, they're trying to shut people down. They don't want people saying certain things. And I'm not saying it's okay to lie on anyone, but the Bible also says be of no reputation. And he wants to try to cover up and the ministry wants to try to cover up to just make it seem like they are so upright and pristine and holy and righteous and they're not. And if for nothing else, if we exclude Diddy and T.D. Jakes attending the birthday party and the things that he said and his statement slash non-statement on Christmas Day after these allegations came out about him uh, uh, possibly, allegedly, maybe being in some photos and videos and things like that and him doing some things that would not be seen as very righteous and holy, even if those things were not true, the mere fact that they were a part of having this woman's child taken and they have blocked her in so many ways from trying to gain her child back because the way it was done, it was not done properly. Meaning it wasn't like she 
decided to give her child up, sign over her parental rights to Cora, and then later on she changed her mind. Now, even criminals, when they have committed crimes, let's say someone commits a a heinous crime where they take someone's life, and then this person's mental health state is questioned, and then they go through a process of things. And even those people who have taken someone's life, if it is seen that they were not in their right mind when they did these things, yeah, they may still go through the trial and whatnot, and they may also be um, sentenced. But if the mental capacity of the person was not deemed as being all there, then even those people, they get, I wouldn't say get off, but some of them do based on the mental capacity of that person at that time. You can't be in a mental state where you are not, you're not functioning at all of the capabilities that most people have. She was going through severe postpartum depression amongst, you know, just depression and and tragedies of life and, and all of the things that she was going through. So, what she, what she was pressed to do and honestly low key threatened to do to sign over her child to Cora Jakes, if they went through the process properly, she wouldn't have even been allowed to do it because she said in the interview, which she did not have an attorney when she was going through that situation. the The judge said you don't seem like you really want to do this. That should have stopped it right then and there. But because this person had connections and affiliations with the Jakes family, she was looking out for their best interests and not everyone's best interests, which would have been Michelle's as well. So with that being said, I want to play this little clip because to me, I just, when I listened to this and I heard this part, I was just done, done, done. And I said, they need to get rid of that so-called church because that's just a cover-up and a front for them to make all of the money that they're making to have people like Tyler Perry come in and (laughs) come in and lay hands on him and give him a million dollars in one full swoop. And it's just gross how they have been doing things. And this is how they have treated this woman. And they know that this woman is fighting to get her child back because it was not done properly. And they are complicit in Cora bringing this woman's son to this church all the time and preventing her from communicating with her child. Nobody either. She's telling you that is no. This is this is a crazy question. And And another thing. Hold on. I ain't told y'all who none of my baby daddies was. <laughs> so y'all don't know who none of them are. Not just Jason. Y'all don't, I don't talk about none of them. I don't let none of them be known. Not none of them. So that again is just like, I don't understand what's not clicking about that. I'm going to pause it right there. At that moment in time, people in the comment section, they were asking questions about, well, who is the child's father? Who's your baby daddy? And she has not released that information. And honestly, she doesn't have to. It really is no one's business. It's irrelevant. But I do remember a couple of years ago, there was a, 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 I'm assuming, I don't know if he's still on YouTube because I hadn't seen his stuff in a while. But he started going in on the Jakes and talking about this story. And and he was all for Michelle Lau, and then he started flip, you know, flipping the script. And to be honest with you, in my personal opinion, I felt like maybe somebody from the Jake's family communicated with him and possibly gave him some money. And then he just started saying a lot of negative things about Michelle Lau and just kind of making her look like she was out here running wild in these streets and just had a bunch of different baby daddies and whatever and whatnot. And I was... First of all, I I felt like it was weird because it was like he just completely flipped on her. And the video content that he was doing about the Jakes and Michelle Loud, it was getting a lot of views. So my personal opinion, I'm not saying this happened, but my personal opinion was I felt like somebody from the Jakes family had reached out to him and he had been paid off 
because that is something that is common that people have spoken about. And even Michelle has spoken about, too, when it comes to that family cover ups and payoffs. So I wouldn't have been surprised if that was the case. So a lot of people started to question, well, who was the child's father? And it's like, if this is the mother and she's fighting for her child, why does that even matter? So anyway, even if she was married to the father, like it really doesn't matter. So that's what she's talking about right there. But let me go ahead and continue. Um, yeah. So let me let me ask you this. This is something that I got in my head and I'm just wondering about it. Have you ever thought and I'm not saying you should have or shouldn't have. Don't get it wrong. I'm just curious. Have you ever just showed up that day at the church? I've showed up at the church and got escorted out the church. I was going to ask you what happened to. <laughs> they have a picture. They got a picture with me up at the church. And I thought about going again and putting a mask on. Like, if I put a mask on, they might not know who I am. Y'all, because people think that I, that I just, like, just been put, speaking out on the internet. No, I've actually been putting foot to pavement, doing whatever. Like, I have showed up to that church. I went to that church trying to see my baby, and they escorted me out. And told me that I would be trespassing if I came back. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. At the church? At the church. Oh, oh, I, 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 went, I, 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 I trespassed I, at the church. I, that's what they told me. I even, <laughs> you know, they got Dallas Police Department at the church. I even oh. went I even went to a, a Bishop them house. I, I could have sworn the church was supposed to take anybody in. Is that what they, they isn't that what said? Come as you are. And but I thought he it's also said that if, if you up. even if you're gay, he's gonna let you in. That's what he keeps saying. Yeah, if you gay, cause he gay. But you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all about them about being over there, and all them men will come over there, and they'll go down there in that in that room in that basement, that room, and they'll be down there for them for hours and hours and hours and hours, like that money long song. They be down there for hours, and the running joke. And amongst the children was they was down there having orgies. They was down there doing gay stuff. That was the running joke in the household. So you heard what she said. First, let's exclude not saying that isn't important or it's irrelevant, because that's crazy to hear about them possibly having whether same sex or heterosexual sexual orgies in a basement in a church like that's just disgusting so but i'm not saying that's not important if that is going on that the, the church should be shut down but in my personal opinion more important than that they have blocked this woman from coming to the church she said she's tried to go there and they told her she's not welcome she was escorted out they have her picture up they told her if she comes back she would be trespassing why what does she do to not be welcome at the church. Isn't the church the supposed to be the hospital? It's supposed to be the place where people come to to lay their problems down on the altar and seek the Lord and and be healed and be delivered and set free and whatever. And this and he's all about woman thou art loosed and you have this woman bound, you are and blocked. And you're up there jittering and shaking saying, you know, you're going to stand with your back straight and head high, but yet you're bum fumbling trying to open up that iPad because he was so nervous when he was addressing slash not addressing the allegations that were going on around about him prior to Christmas, right? So I just am so much more disgusted knowing that they have blocked this woman from coming to the church. How... How brazen and bold in your stance of hypocrisy, of unholiness and unrighteousness can you be? And being complicit and knowing that your daughter is wrong because you have blocked this woman from coming to the church. Did she come there and try to burn it down? Like, was she coming there and, and being violent with anyone? No, just she said she showed up and she was escorted out. 
And I believe that she didn't do anything but show up. Some people might say, oh, well, she must have done something. Because there are some people that are just going to continue to try to justify what has happened. Or just try to make it seem like this this young lady is just some harlot out here. So irresponsible, having babies by every Tom, Dick, and Harry. And, and no, nobody that is that way would go through the lengths that they have gone through for all of this time to try to take their child back. I have the full interview link in the description box so that you can listen to it. But it just, I, I listened to it. It just really made me so furious and angry. But I really hope that more comes out. And this is not me wishing for the downfall of him or his family or a black man or whatever people may want to say. My hope and desire is for the truth to continue to be revealed and come out and that Michelle Lau gets her child back. That's what I want. And people can take that for what they want to and try to make it seem like I'm just trying to wish and pray on the downfall of this person because I'm jealous of his daughter, Sarah, or whatever, you know, people try to conjure up because Lord knows some of these people out here, when it comes to Sarah Jakes, you can't say anything about her because they will be windmilling in the comment section. And, and it's just really ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. But Michelle Loud, her son was taken and that entire family knows it and they have been complicit and it is completely disgusting and so for people to continue to go to this place to serve to pray to worship even if some of them are worshiping this man and not really worshiping the true and living god that's on them but i just really hope and pray that the truth continues to be revealed and that she gets her son back that's what i want for her and just to hear how they did it it's just so gross and God is not pleased and God has nothing to do with it. And they tried to put that on God to say that Michelle had that baby for Cora. Huh? Wow. Absolutely insane. So listen to the interview. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for letting me know what you think in the comment section respectfully. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.